Okay, we're going to do a bit of hollowing here. Here's my hollow rig set up. I've got my mid-angled uh, bit on the front there. I just sharpened it, nice and sharp. And I set the laser. I don't know how well that shows up on the video or not, but uh, laser set to maybe, oh, I don't know, three, four millimeters or so there, a little over an eighth of an inch. So it'll give me an idea of where the tool is inside. I don't know how good this is going to work. My uh, <coughs> video camera might get bumped by the hollowing rig, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, going to start her up and see how we can do here. My tool rest is a little low. Check that before. Don't mind waiting, do you? Oh, this will put a slightly less aggressive angle on my bevel on my tool here to try to get a smoother cut. I was running about 10 degrees and I reduced that down to about I don't know, 6 or 7. So hopefully going to get a bit smoother cut out of it. to work in closer. This early stage most of the chips come right out but eventually you gotta get in there the vacuum cleaner or compressed air or something and get the chips out. I like to do this in stages. spoon-like thing here that I use. Actually this hole is kind of small for it. This wood's not really wet but it is a bit wet so sometimes the shavings kind of pack on the inside there. I'm going to change the angle on my tool here just a bit. I think it's down a bit. So the, uh, the cutting angle can be changed slightly by rotating this rod. I don't know, I didn't really design it that way, it just is a, worked out just a couple of degrees more and maybe I'll get a little better cut. Tighten that up. Check my laser again because uh, sometimes it gets bumped. Still sitting about the same place. See how that cuts. That's a bit better. Still in the early hollowing stages here. Need to move my captured rig for my D handle over a bit. It's kind of not in the right place. Hopefully everything's adjustable. Loosen the bolt, tighten the bolt up. That'll give me a bit more swing. Get some chips out of there. 
can imagine for a fairly large turning, this takes a bit of time. build up the shavings in there that it's not letting you cut. So I'm going to back it off and clean out my shavings. Well, that's about it for now. I guess uh, we'll take a little break from videoing here for a second and we'll come back uh, when I got a little bit more done.